Sugar molecules are the currency we use when we do business with plants. Certain plants, at great expense, produce packages of energy for us to eat. The energy is stored in molecules of sugar. In return, we swallow their seeds and poop them out somewhere else. It's a win-win situation. But how do we know that the plant is keeping up their end of the bargain? Well, on our tongues, we have sugar-sensing cells. It's our sweetness receptors. But what if a plant could produce a counterfeit sugar molecule, a forgery so good that our tongues couldn't detect them as forgery? That's exactly what Pentadiplandra Braziana has done. This West African berry produces a protein called brazine that stimulates our sweetness receptors, but it's a much cheaper molecule to make than sugar molecules. And primates in the area love it. They seek out these berries, they swallow the seeds and poop them out, but they get no calories in return. The reason this trick is possible is because our sugar molecule detecting mechanism in our mouths isn't perfect. It's the old lock and key analogy. By the way, that doesn't work on gorillas anymore. Gorillas have evolved and the receptor that they have for sweetness is a little different to everyone else's. And the trickster molecule doesn't bind to it, which it really shows that it's an evolutionary arms race. Actually, other molecules can be engineered that also stimulate those receptor proteins. That's why artificial sweeteners are possible. Humans have come up with molecules like aspartame that can stimulate our sweetness receptors, and yet they contain no calories. Remarkably, these taste receptor cells aren't just on our tongues, they're in our guts, in our airways and in our urinary tracts as well. It makes sense to have these receptors in our guts because our guts need to know how to deal with what we've put in there. It also makes sense to have sugar receptors in your intestines. Like if you eat some sugar, then some of those sugar molecules will bind to the sweetness receptors in your intestines. So your body will know to release some of those proteins that marshal the sugar molecules into your bloodstream. So most of the sugar will be absorbed. A little bit will be left behind. But if you then consume some artificial sweetener, those artificial sweetener molecules will also bind to the sweetness receptors, releasing even more of those enzymes that will latch onto any of the remaining real sugar in your intestine and carry it into your bloodstream. The upshot is that artificial sweetener may actually cause your body to absorb more of the real sugar that you eat. That's not to say that artificial sweetener is bad for you, so long as you're using it in place of real sugar. It's just that it's not as effective as it would be if it weren't for those pesky sweetness receptors in your intestines.